Welcome back to my channel, all you beautiful creative people. Today I'm introducing a new concept called Quick Tots, and that's a short form content tutorial platform in between one to three minutes. Here I will share quick tips, hacks, and fixes I've figured out over the years. The first one we are taking a look at today is a small but powerful tip for Spline. When you embed a Spline 3D scene into a web project, it sets it to lazy load as default, and that can in some cases result in a clumsy or even poor user experience. Today I'm gonna teach you how to embed and load the Spline scene on page load. Now let's get to it. Okay, so I've just fired up Webflow and I've already embedded this blind scene into Webflow. So let's take a look at what it is actually we're going to do today. So let's hop on over to the website where I've embedded the site and let's refresh it and then trying to scroll down so we can see how the page loads the, uh, the scene right now. So if we go down here, you can see it's clunky. It's not, it's not, it's not the best user experience. This is not what we want to want to have to, to pronounce to our, to our end users. So let's go back to uh, Webflow and edit the code. And before you say, oh, Jacob, I do not use Webflow. This is the exact same way it works in both Elementor, Framer, and even if you hand code the, your websites by yourself, perhaps you already know how to do this if you can hand code a website by hand, so. But this is how we do it. So we just open the code embed right here. And now we can see we have the script that we have embedded from, uh, from Spline. And this is where we're going to make the change to get it to, to load on page load. So right here where it says Spline view and the URL, we're just gonna write in a small snippet of code and that will make the, the 3D scene load on page load. So we start by writing loading and then we make an equal sign and then a quotation mark and one more quotation mark. And in between these two quotation marks, we write eager like this. And then we save and close and go up to the publish section and say publish to selected domain. So when it's finished loading, we will go back to the web page and see if it has fixed the problem. So we go up right here, refresh the site like this. And now we scroll down and now we can see the spline 3D scene has been loaded on page load instead of lazy load. And that's actually how easy it is to fix it. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you are embedding a spline 3D scene on page load. My name is Jacob Vingegaard, and I salute you for spending your precious time together with me in this video. If you want to help me and my channel out, then please like and subscribe, and check out my store if you need assets for web, video, and graphics work. Link in the description, and thank you for watching. I'm out.